Hello viewers, and welcome back to Endless Learning. Today, we are continuing with the second part of our screen replacement in Nuke X. In part one, we successfully replaced the screen using the corner pin node, and in this video, we will use the planner tracker node to replace the second monitor. The planner tracker node in Foundry's Nuke is used for tracking the motion of flat surfaces across a series of frames. It detects and follows the pattern on a selected plane, handling changes in position, scale, rotation, and perspective. This tool is essential in VFX for tasks like attaching new elements to moving surfaces or altering existing objects within a scene. It provides precise control over the tracking process and exports the data for use in compositing workflows. Let's see how it's done. First, add a planar tracker node to track the footage. Connect this with a color correct node. Go to the first frame and select the four corners of the monitor. Press the track to end option. Now the tracking process is completed. Click the Display Planar Surface button to view the planar surface. If it's not correctly aligned inside the monitor, enable the correct plane option to adjust the planar surface. Remember, it's important to make all these adjustments in your reference frame, the frame where you started the tracking. Next, we are going to export the corner tracker node into the planar tracker node. Go to the tracking tab and under the export option, select corner pin 2D absolute, press export. Now the corner pin node will be exported. After this, proceed with the same steps we followed in part one of this video. Add a merge node to connect both layers. Then connect the exported corner pin and add a reformat node to match the resolution of the monitor layer. Double click on the corner pin, go to the From tab and rearrange the edges. Now it's perfect. We have successfully replaced the monitor screen. Next, to retain the reflection on this layer, change the blending mode of the merge node from over tile screen. Since we're dealing with a black screen, we use the blending mode to retain the reflection of the footage. Next, use the color correct node to match the saturation, contrast, and brightness based on the footage. We used the planar tracker and successfully replaced the monitor. Observe the output. All the videos have digital grain, but the image we used doesn't have grain. By pressing B, we can easily identify that the image doesn't have grain while the video does. Therefore, we need to add grain to this image layer to match it with the video. We will cover how to do this in our next video. Thank you for watching, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.